Hello. Počujeme. No, tak thank you for introducing me. And I uh, uh, would like to say hello and welcome to everybody who decided to see my presentation, especially after this lunch and hard last night. So uh, I will talk about, I will tell you about open data which provided, which provided our organization, Geodesic Cartography and Cadastral Authority of Slova Republic. According to its name, it's uh, our center body of public administration for fields of geodesic cartography and real estate cadastra. It directly manages uh, to other organization, geodesic and cartography institution where I am working and a research institute of geodesic and cartography. These three institutions provide quite a lot of spatial data and services, which I quite widely use in uh, users, also in QGIS in Slovak Republic in variety fields. Uh, very, very uh, many, many, many fields. So, uh, in my presentation, I mention you about these data and products. And first, about herbal laser scanning products, their orthophotos of Slo Slovakia, and then open topographic data from ZBGIS database, uh, another open cadastral data, inspired data, VMS services, and also for tutorials for QGIS, which we made for uh, users in our republic. Uh, at first, I started with Airborne Laser Scanning Project. In uh, 2017, uh, we decided to uh, do a new, actual, and modern digital terrain model with uh, data with Airborne Laser Scanning. So this project started uh, uh, in that year and was uh, finally uh, com completed in last year in May uh, very successfully. So the, uh, basic information on this project who don't know about it, that we uh, decided to divide Slovakia on 42 sites, lots, it's the name, and the scanning continuously uh, take part from uh, west to uh, east part. Uh, scanning was uh, uh, was made in a non-vegetation period in winter be because of vegetation, uh, which can be some obstacle uh, in laser scanning. Uh, only uh, to the most highest mountainous lo location, Tatra and Malafatra, and uh, Niska Tatra, etc., will be uh, was scanning in uh, also in uh, summer because of uh, snow cover. In first cycle, we decided uh, uh, scan density is provided with 15 to 50. 15 to 52 points for square meters, and so it's really quite a good result. Uh, after the finishing of this project, first, first cycle, we decided to actualize the digital terrain model, so we started the second project cycle. Uh, in this time, we divide Slovakia in more smaller parts, and uh, scanning also was started. So first a location, as you see on the map, in blue color are already provided, and uh, location with pink color are uh, finishing in scanning, and processing of point clouds is underway. Uh, in this time, we uh, made scan density points of light reflection of 34 to 45 points per square meter, and uh, uh, also we uh, uh, provided this point class in classification uh, classes, classification classes, uh, and you know, some differences uh, about, about according to first cycle that we have two additional classes, wire and tower, in in this in this cycle. Um, basic information about product, you all, I think almost everybody know who is a point cloud. Uh, so it's a set of points, special points in which describe a surface in a place of laser beam a reflection. So we provided in classification, uh, for example, like on this picture. From this point cloud, we made a digital elevation model. 
First is digital terrain model, which represents the terrain. Uh, it's made from uh, ground class of classific point cloud. In first cycle, uh, DTM5, uh, it, ha it has one meter spatial resolution, and uh, DTM6 from seven cycle has half meter on pixel re resolution. I'll be provided in raster NT format. Uh, Digital surface model represent uh, Earth surface also with terrain and uh, top parts of object on it. So we also do it from classific point clouds for all all classes without uh, classes with noise, and also we provide it in raster form with the same space resolution. Uh, now something about data provision. All data are freely available, so everybody can download it and use it for every purpose uh, he, he wants. So you can uh, rust us DTM DSM. You can download for our web page GeoPortal directly, and or in small location you can download throughout data export function in our map web map application Mapka. Slovak users also know it because it's mainly used for uh, searching in cadastro data, but also there are many, many other functions and map layers. Classific points pla uh, clouds are also, can be ex exported in small location from this application, or uh, can be uh, ordered by uh, filling order form and delivery offline because it's quite large data. For example, point clouds from this first cycle in less uh, LAS format have more than 60 terabytes, so it's very big, big data volume. In seven, uh, th seven cycle data, we also provide it through our geo portal. Rasta, so you can um, download through it, through our cloud. And we also now prepare um, data export from uh, map application Mapka. So this year, it should be also there. Uh, when we uh, started providing this project, many, many users asked us where can they open, we and or work with this data. So we decided to make some tutorials and we decided for QGIS application because it's open source, it's very really available and quite friendly to use. So we have tutorials, for example, how to work with point clouds in QGIS. You can find there many functions, tools, also tools uh, which were presented also today or yesterday, the new, new one. So you can know how to add point clouds to the project, symbolize, uh, merge, clipping, or creating virtual point clouds, elevation, profile measurement, creating tiles, 3D view, or also coordinate transformation or export to other formats. So it's very, very useful. You can find it also on the GeoPortal website. It's also on Slovak language for our users. We also have tutorial uh, for working with raster data with DTM or DSM in GeoPortal. You also find many, there are many functions, many tools we can use with, to work with raster data. For example, you, you uh, the same like in the point clouds on also many others like visibility analysis, volume calculation, creative counters, for example, and or export to points in DX, uh, DXF, um, CSV format, and etc. So many, many functions. Because these uh, tutorials have mo more than 100 page, also many, many, many functions is there. Uh, now I tell you about uh, project of creating orthophotos of our country. In this project, we cooperate with the Minister of Agriculture of our country. We also started in uh, 2017, this project, and uh, one cycle of doing orthophotos from all Slovakia is completed in three years period. So now we have a third cycle in development. Um, Main areas of use of these orthophotos uh, were our update of uh, topographic database ZBGIS or mon national forest monitoring and inventory, providing support and 
uh, subdevices in agriculture, or it serves like layer in GIS of public administration, or territorial plans for municipalities and cities, etc. Uh, I mentioned that we have a first cycle in development. First cycle was completed in uh, 2018. 19, sorry. So uh, this uh, cycle is uh, all, all made, and you can download it from our geo portal. I know, say you some information next. Uh, some basic parameters are the spatial resolution is 25 centimeters in this in this cycle, and position accuracy uh, 13 centimeters. We provided a national coordinate system and a raster form TIF. A seven cycle is quite same, but it ha has higher resolution, and it take, uh, took place from our years 2020 to 2022. And in this case, we also provide rasters with four bands, so RGB, classic, and also near infrared. You can download, for example, vegetation analysis, and also position accuracy is better in this case. Now we are developing in this third production cycle. The west part was uh, completed last year and available for download. And this year is center part of Slovakia uh, made and will be available next year for downloading. Uh, in this uh, cycle, uh, production cycle, we provide rasters with 15 centimeters resolution, so much higher, like in the first cycle and also can do a in raster form and position accuracy is 70 centimeters in this case. Uh, now some information about distribution. Uh, you can download in raster form in national coordinate system. One raster covers area of five square kilometers like in this picture. Uh, you can download if throughout the web application Mapka also in uh, data export function in then base map, it's uh, maximum 20 rasters at once because of spatial resolution of a map, for example, and uh, it depends on the volume of data in these rasters. So if you want complete ultra photos from all Slovakia, you can download it in zip files in our GeoPolter website in all three cycles. From cloud, it's uh, quite easy. You can also find their overview of able imaginaries with exact date of creation. If you know exactly date when this uh, ultra photos was made, or you can use, for example, web map services for very um, easy using in application. Uh, we also made a tutorial for working with these rasters in QGIS. You can find there also the same, uh, some basic function like creating pyramids, merging, clipping rasters, transformation, or VMS con connection, or for example, removing the near band from, from this raster with four channels. Uh, now I uh, talk about uh, our topographic data in uh, ZBGIS database, in our, which can be described um, like a geo database of topographic uh, spatial data about territory of Slovakia. It has more than 200 future classes we can, which are described in future ZBGIS catalog. They are layers like buildings, roads, bridges, uh, water crossing, etc. the basic uh, layers in maps, but only uh, administrative boundaries and geographic names are freely available um, due to legislation reasons. So uh, these two layers you can download freely. I can say how, and but you can uh, freely download uh, ZBGIS rasters, which uh, represent export of data from our database to raster format uh, in TIFF. Um, in this case, uh, also data have are displayed with rec uh, cartographic representation, so you can download uh, the, the map in different scales, of 1 to 5,000 to 1 to 50,000, it's a small possible continuous covers of territory of Slovakia. 
and these rasters represent the current national basic map, of course. Uh, data uh, you can freely available through our uh, out, um, boundaries, administrative or geographical names, also the Degis rasters, VMS services, for example. You can download these rasters throughout web application Mapka or in GeoPortal, all in zip files, or in Mapka you can find base map ZBGIS when you can search, browsing, or identify objects from ZBGIS for free. And now about some catastrophe data, only I mentioned which are freely available. Uh, open data for Cadastro you can download throughout web application AQO, in English translation, translation is attributes of cadastral documentation, which pro, uh, are provided by our Research Institute of Geodesy and Cartography. In this application, you can find metadata about a set of geodetic information, and you can download a geo package file with uh, cadastral layers, like a cadastral unit of parcels, which which have in cadastral. And these data are um, updating once or two time, two months, for example. You can easily find cadastro unit, fill your email and download data and use in QGIS, for example. Here is an example uh, to show the data in QGIS with some symbology and labels, and these are attributes we can provide it in geo, geo package file, also area of parcel, for real number which document which contains name of users and another, another code using our cadaster. Uh, because these data are very often used in uh, CAT softwares, we also made um, tutorial for exporting data to format DXF. Uh, you can find there how to set symbology on labels for vector layers and export project to DXF or point clouds or even uh, DTM in like points in DXF. So for example, for civil engineers, etc. Now the last two slides, uh, we also provide that data in Inspire uh, data model or data Inspire directory. Uh, these data are made by transforming ZBGIS data and cadastro data into into Inspire data model in ETRS 89 coordinate system. We can provide it by Venma services or by Atom feed. You can download the files, zip files with different formats, a GML, Geo package, or SVG database. Uh, the teams, we are, our competence, our administrative units, geographical names, hydrography, tra transport network, cadastral parcels, auto imagery of buildings, and elevation. And last, last one slide is about webmap services. I mentioned it before. The services we can provide it in uh, OGC standards. Uh, you also, I think, know it and use it. So you can easily find the link in our GeoPoto site and connect to your software application and use it freely. And you also find it in one plugin in QGIS with its name is Geodata. This is an SK when you found the list of all our WMS services, or cadastral services, or you can download also the administrative boundaries ve vector vector files there. So I think it's all. Thank you for your attention. And if you have some question, I very like to answer it.